As food technologists, our mission that we chose to accept is to create an original ice cream flavor as well as making a unique shaped and flavored gummy to add to the ice cream. In addition to making ice cream and gummies, we will also be learning how to 3D print molds for our gummies as well. While we are making and testing our ice cream, we have also been learning about the main ingredients in ice cream and what functions they serve along with the process of how ice cream is made in the industry. The other key thing that we have been learning is how to calculate the freezing time of our ice cream. To achieve a successful outcome, we are going to hold a various trials to understand the best flavour and colour that would agree with our market research that we have conducted. From initial research, we were able to ascertain that consumers are looking for products that have natural flavourings and ingredients. There is also a trend of botanical and tea flavours becoming more popular. We then created a brainstorm, which allowed us to get all our ideas out and work collaboratively on which flavour we would be choosing. After that, we broadened our search and found that the popularity of boba is booming. Globally, the bubble tea industry is worth $3.3 billion and is expected to grow to $6.1 billion by 2027. In New Zealand, the bubble tea industry is growing 20% year on year. After carrying out this research, we are confident that choosing a milk tea ice cream with boba gummies is a good decision and will be popular with our chosen target market of 16 to 30 year olds. So we carried our three ice cream triers in week three, matcha, black tea, and earl grey. We brewed the black and earl grey tea extract ourselves for the second and third triers. A problem we've been encountering is that our homemade tea extracts have not been strong enough to cover the strong flavor of the dairy base. For our third trier, we increased the amount of the tea extract from 20 to 70 ml. Finally, there was almost enough tea flavor in our ice cream. However, as the proportion of the tea extract increased, the ice crystals became larger and the sugar and fat levels dropped significantly. This affected the texture greatly and it resembled frozen coke, not an ice cream. Then I took the last batch home and I very quickly got sick of it even though I really liked it at first. This was due to the tannins contained in the tea, which was too strong compared to the sweetness of the ice cream. To fix this issue, we have ordered a commercial tea extract, which will hopefully give us a stronger tea flavor and less tannins. Once we receive the commercial tea extract, we can refine the ice cream recipe and then start creating the gummy inclusion. Using the program SOLIDWORKS, we will design and 3D print the reverse blank of our mold design and then pour silicon over it in order to create the mold for our gummy insert. Everyone in the group will each design their own gummy and then we'll collectively come together and decide on which is best suited for our product. These inserts will have the perfect flavour to accompany the ice cream, building up the product flavor profile of the product and increasing its overall markability. We will create a HACCP plan to determine any hazards within the kitchen that could potentially harm the product. We're producing a product that will be consumed. There are many precautions that we need to take in order to make sure that it is safe to eat. We will do a sensory evaluation in which we will get feedback from people about our product on things such as taste, texture and appearance so that we can improve our product and make it more appealing to consumers. Our final step will be to produce this ice cream on a pilot scale so that we can showcase this at the exhibition where consumers will try our product and we will compete with other teams to have the most popular ice cream.